talk in everlasting words and dedicate them all to me. Words. Today we read that Moses' sister Miriam, she spoke words, disparaging words, about her brother Moses. Now she didn't lie, she only pointed out a particular behavior that she disapproved of without speaking first privately with her brother Moses. And for that, she was punished. You think that I don't even mean a single word I say. And we're all familiar with that famous quote, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But of course, nothing could be further from the truth because words are powerful, very powerful. We need to be very careful, the words that come out of our mouths, what we write and what we text. Sometimes even seemingly harmless discussion can evolve into slander and gossip, and so we need to be very careful. And if you see somebody who does something, some behavior that you don't approve of, so approach them privately. Try to have a nice, peaceful discussion with them. But also remember, ultimately, that the words that come out of your mouth are your words. You think you're talking about somebody else, but actually those words are there. They're part of you. It's only words, and words are all I have to take your heart away. But it's not only words. Words are powerful.